story. Tilda Ochako Pav Tilda. I stood up and started to walk away. Uraraka, where are you going? Yaoyorozu asked. I turned and smiled. I need to have a talk with my lover, I said and walked away. I wonder where Deku is. So where is he? I quickly turned around and saw Eri smiling at me. Um. Dot who? I asked back. Your lover? She continued. I want to see who captured your heart because you are so pretty. Your lover must be amazing, she said with a wide grin. Sweetie, I said and paused thinking it over. Izu and I did have a disagreement last time. Maybe having a child present will ease his mind a little and she could listen more. Plus, I looked down at the girl who was staring at me with curiosity. She is very cute. Sure, let's go then, I said as I held out my hand. She took my arm and we walked around the palace trying to find Izuku and it started to get dark outside. After a while, I spoke to the little girl since the silence was awkward. So, how did you get in the palace? Eri paused, her majesty brought to be in, and she stopped talking. Dot 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 dot, did something happen? Oh well then, where is your mom and dad? I asked, Eri stopped walking and stared at me, my mom and dad passed away a long time ago. I was wandering on the streets until her majesty brought me in as a maid. I only sweep a little here and there, but I have so much free time that I wander around the palace most of the time. I paused and hugged Eri in my arms as she cried into my shoulder. She has been through so much. I have to cheer her up, I suppose I quick stop to the kitchen won't hurt. Eri, wants your favorite food. She looks up as I wiped her tears away with a handkerchief, apple. I smiled and nodded, I know where we could get an even sweeter apple. Eri's face lit and she nodded, really? Yeah, I said and we both headed to the kitchen. Tilda Midoriya's Pav Tilda, that is not a plan. That's an outline if anything. The queen looked back at me with an expressionless face, that's the whole point. You're the one that has to apologize. Now go, she said and pushed me out the door. Dot dot dot, apologize right, just apologize, to the princess of another kingdom. I sighed and walked around for a while as night time approached and I starting to get hungry. I should stop by the kitchen for a quick snack. As soon as I arrived there I heard a voice that I recognized since it belonged to my lover. My heart started beating faster even before I saw her. Here, it's an apple pie, she said and handed a treat to a little girl. Thank you, the little girl said, can I ask you some questions? Promoted stories. You'll also like, never stop fighting MCSM Jestra fanfiction. 18K343. After the Witherstorm and Sky City problem, Jesse quickly find themselves in a new adventure, and it was a tough one. Jesse and Petra had gotten closer, and eventually T. One last shot, a Mineta Redemption fanfic. 10.1k168. This is a Mineta Redemption fanfic, if you hate Mineta, I advise you to not read this. Mineta had just done one of his biggest schemes, and the girls had enough. Aizawa T. Ochako needs help, 27k591. All the girls in the 1a class have decided enough is enough. They are going to help Ochako confess to her crush, one way or another. Murder drone stories, incorrect quotes, 20.7k274. Little random stories kinda like one shots oh well this became oni shots and incorrect quotes. Very slow updates. I don't write fanfics much anymore. Ishp Ki Kahani. 4.7M257K in Quad. Stop trying to act like my fiancé because I don't give a damn about you. And Quad. His words echoed through the room breaking my remaining hopes. Alize, the badass. The Lion Guard. Age of the Dinosaurs number 1. 4.3K69. Scar has returned while the Lion Guard start facing some creatures they make an adventure in their lands while making a rescue attempt when Kiera was captured by those CR.
Secrets, 14.6K 1.1K. Manic and Nandini two strangers meet on a trip. They instantly hate each other. The intensity of the hate is such that one can burn the other by a look in the other one. Ochako paused for a second and nodded, finish up your treat first. The little girl nodded and took a big bit, her eye lit up and she smiled warmly, it's so sweet. I heard Ochako giggle which brought a smile to my face as she was somewhat happy after the awful thing I did yesterday. Is your lover as sweet as this treat? The girl said with stars in her eyes. I listened intently as I heard Ochako saying, yes, he is sweeter than this treat in fact. You really love him don't you? Ochako paused and I watched as she blushed, yeah I do but he doesn't seem to realize that. I am so sorry Ochako. I started walking away when I heard Ochako speak again, I wish he would realize that I just want to be with him and maybe start a family. A family, oh, I am so sorry Eri. How about this, we can be a family now. The little girl, who was apparently named Eri, jumped up and down in excitement asking shyly, can I call you my mom then? Of course, Ochako said as she picked up Eri in her arms to hug her. Ochako is so kind and sweet. I really need to apologize. I started walking towards the two girls and quietly said, Hi Ochako. She jumped and put Eri down, as she wore an awkward smile, Oh hi. Izuku, she said slowly. Can we talk? I asked, quote dot dot dot, sure, she said and turned down to look at Eri. Hey sweetie can you go play for a while? You can sleep in my room afterward, after all, we are a family now right? Eri nodded, yes mommy, as she ran off excitedly. Ochako then turned to me and tucked a loose strand of hair behind her ear, so cute. Let's talk somewhere else, she said as I nodded. Where do you want to talk? My room I guess, after all we've met there so many times in the past. We both walked to her room with an awkward silence. She closed the door behind her and sighed looking at me I was about to apologize when she held up her hand for me to stop. Can I go first? Tilda Ochako Pav Tilda. Izu nodded at me and I took a deep breath. You can do this Ochako. Izu I just really wanted to say that I know you are worried about my future but frankly I don't care about it if you aren't a part of it I really love you a lot and I just can't live the rest of my life knowing that you love me too and the only thing keeping us apart is a stupid law, I paused as water started to build up in my eyes. What I am trying to say is that I love you Izu. I want to spend my life with you. So let's forget about our titles and duties, because, because. I started to tear up and I wiped away my tar saying, sorry. I don't want to cry while telling you this but, I am just hopeless aren't I, I said and smiled at him. Suddenly I felt his hands holding my face as he wiped away my tears with his thumb. He looked so heartbroken as he started into my eyes. Izu, I leaned in without thinking and stopped myself shortly before touching his lips. I blushed and backed away, s sorry, I didn't mean to, I am mean I just. Great job Ochako you just messed this all up, nice job keeping your emotions in check. As I was looking away in embarrassment I didn't realize Izu walking towards me he grabbed my hands and intertwined his finger with mine. I looked up slowly and saw him looking back at me warmly. I love you Ochako, he said and leaned and our lips came into contact with one another and he kissed me gently. My heartbeat rapidly got faster and faster, and I felt myself melt into the kiss that was so sweet. After a couple of seconds, he stopped kissing me, much to my disappointment and he stared at me, I'm sorry Ochako. Please forgive me, he said softly and hugged me tightly, if you will still accept me after that stupid mistake I made, I promise I won't ever leave you again. I smiled saying, I didn't need to forgive you Izu because you'll always be in my heart, I don't need to think twice about us. We stopped hugging after a while and just looked into the each other's eyes.
both of us seemed embarrassed with a red blush on our face from the kiss. Izu, about last time, I looked up to see him, I really do want to get married. I finished and looked down fidgeting with my fingers. He didn't respond for a while and smiled, the queen is requesting your presence tomorrow Ochako, he said and lifted up my face, we can talk about marriage after that. Dot dot dot, what, bb but you were so against it yesterday night, I said frantically worried about him well-being. He just laughed at me and smiled, my love, things can change in a day after all, he blushed and looked away, your grace and I weren't exactly in a friendly relationship earlier today. I blushed red realizing what he meant, Izu, don't lie you wanted to kiss me as much as I wanted to kiss you, I embarrassingly said. His ears and face got red in my remark and he suddenly got embarrassed. Oh oh Ochako, he said turning away from me as I got closer to him, I I I should go. I paused and nodded thinking about my promise to Eri, okay but, I grabbed his hands and kissed them as if he was the lady and I was the knight. I looked up and saw him tomato red frantically stumbling on his words, why why your HG Ochako. I rose up again and smiled like him, you can't leave me again okay, you promised. He nodded and after I let go of his hand he quickly left the room. I just kissed Izu's hand. Why did I do that? My face began to heat up from embarrassment as I called the maids to bring Eri in. Eri happily hopped in and smiled brightly saying, Mommy, as she ran towards me for a hug. The maid quickly left, a little confused, probably because Eri called me Mommy, I thought. I picked up Eri and tucked her into bed, kissing her on the forehead. After that, I got in bed next to her wondering about what the queen had to talk to me about. I woke up early and asked the maids to prepare breakfast for Eri as well since they only prepared it for me after our food came and the maids stood against the wall waiting for further orders, seemingly more nervous than usual. They probably heard about my meeting with the queen. Eri wakes up, I said softly as she rubbed her eyes, time to eat. Eri and I sat down and ate at the small table and couches in my room. The room looks cleaner than before. I shook my head and smiled at Eri, would you like to go for a walk with me? She smiled back at me, of course. After breakfast, we both went on a walk for some time and I got called in to meet the queen. I left Eri with Su, Yayorazu, Jiro, and all the others. I wonder what the queen wants to talk about, is. It about my indirect insult to her, I was just mad but, that, could be the case. I sighed and calmly walked into the room to meet the queen. I bowed saying, your ma. Uraraka please don't say my title, she said while cutting me off and raising a hand. You wanted to see me, I said trying not to anger her, after all, I did insult her, well. Sort of the queen sighed and gestured for me to sit down with her. The maids quickly ran and served us tea as we sat down to drink. Uraraka you know the ball is coming up right. Yes, in two days is it not? Yeah, Mina grinned at me saying, is Sir Midoriya escorting you? I blushed red and looked away, um, I'm not sure after all I haven't spent that much time with him. I watched as the queen giggled at my remark, oh come on Uraraka. I already know you and him are courting. Then why did you ask? I said all flustered. She then stared at me aside, the ball is where the long lost princess of the kingdom of night will make her entrance and be brought back to her home country. I stared at her with confusion, oh, she must be very happy to go back home. I bet she is very lovely but, why did you call me here? Suddenly the queen looked away and sighed, that's because you are the princess. Wait, what? What did you say? I asked putting down the teacup I have been drinking green tea from during the conversation. Your Highness, she continued, you are Princess Uraraka, future moon of the Kingdom of Night. Dot 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 dot. What? Blank, underscore, 
blank, underscore I am so sorry for not updating as much as I did before. School has been so annoying with the workload and online classes. I think there will be one more chapter of this and then the medieval chapters will be finished. As for the main story that will probably be finished in maybe five more parts, I don't know to be honest. Anyways, as always, there will be mistakes, and stay safe guys.